Okay, so in this video we're going to talk about some more um, customizable features, uh, some more advanced features uh, for networks and diagrams, which are essentially the same thing. Um, so I said uh, last video we can color, uh, we can color the uh, the nodes. So you you know you may like to have colors in your diagrams, which is not a bad idea. So for example, we can do uh, fill equals blue, right? Fill is just saying you know we're going to fill. Uh, the node and then you specify the color uh, you know you may get something like this and then you may say okay but uh, um, the text is a bit hard to read this way so you can change the color of the text uh, to white for example okay. and here we go okay so that and you know the colors are pretty self-explanatory you can customize the colors you know just to, uh, Google and then they'll tell you all, all the available colors and how to create your own colors Okay, you can choose, you know, from uh, red, green, blue, you know, that type of format. Um, what else? Okay, so uh, we can start a new uh, picture. So let's just copy and paste this. So let's say, for example, I want to make a tree. Okay, so get rid of all these. Um, okay, so, the, so we want to create a tree. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so I have N1 is the uh, first node in my tree. Okay, and, uh, you know, for the, rather than figuring out, you know, what's the perf, what, you know, what exactly are the coordinates to have, you know, diagonal, this to be, the next node to be diagonally above and to the right of, of this one, you know, again, I, sh I said before, we can use this command um, above right of equals n1 okay and that should create a node somewhere above here okay so now here we already have an issue which is that uh, these are too close I mean maybe I maybe you would like them to be further spaced out especially because here the spacing is fixed okay here the spacing depends on the coordinates that you put in when you use this sort of system but here the spacing is fixed and right now it's fixed at some very small amount so what we can do is we can we can use options so normally when you have some sort of environment the square brackets represent some options so for example we can create the node distance uh, through these options right? Okay, so now that's a bit better space. Let's say uh, I would like uh, circles for my nodes. So we can change the shape to circle. And there you go, starting to look better. Uh, for We can continue by, so let's continue making our tree. So I want this one to be below right. Okay, and so I, let's. I'm gonna just keep going here. Make it. Make this little tree. Uh, let's see. N four. Now let's make this one below right of N three, and just skip a step. Make the next node above right of N three. When doing this, I like to to put whatever the text here is, whatever the name of the node is as the text here, okay? Because that helps me uh, to figure out where everything is positioned. Um, and so, you know, you may you may look at this and so, so here's what I wanna do. I want to, now I wanna to start to draw the edges. I would like just a basic tree. You'll see what I, what I have in mind uh, once it's done. So I, I compiled the first one to make sure I wrote, I didn't make any mistakes. And then I just copy and paste, and you can see how, uh, in fact, this can you can you can do this pretty quickly once you get the hang of it. Uh, let's see, n3 to n5, n3 to n4, and here we go. So that's my tree. But let's say you know uh, maybe I want to put some text here, or uh, who you know I want to put something here um, that this may be blocking, or I just want some more space. So what I can do is I can uh, get rid of node N5, okay, just remove it like this, okay, and uh, I can just start put two more nodes and stem them out this way, 
Okay, so for the purpose of this, we'll say we'll just say we want n5 to be above right of n4, n6 to be below right. I'm going a little fast, but you can see how uh, it's pretty intuitive what we're doing here. Okay, so now I'm going to have a problem. Okay, right, because I, I'm calling this thing n5. So I want this to go from n4 to n5 and n4 to n6. Okay, so this gives me what I wanted before. Okay, so now I need to connect this, but I don't want, maybe I don't want this node here. So this is a trick that's, that, that you can use. When you're trying to make uh, complex trees and, and, and diagrams, uh, the spacing is going to become important, and uh, you may want uniform spacing, so you may prefer to use this above right, below right thing. Um, but what you can do here is you can say draw equals none, so that means it's not going to draw anything, it's not going to draw the circle around the node, so if I delete this it's going to disappear completely and then we can make a uh, we can draw an edge between n3 and n4 okay and now we we notice one last thing which is that once I delete n3 uh, okay you're not going to have anything here, but these aren't touching. So, so this is a little, again, another trick worth knowing. If you put dot center, so whatever the node name is, you put dot center, and it's going to draw from the center to the center. Okay, so the center of the node to the center of this node. Okay, so I messed that up because I, I don't want it to be N4. I just want it to be N3 center, and same here. Okay, so N3 center, and that should fix it. There you go. Okay, so you can just see how to do that. Uh, so let's increase the spacing a little bit. And um, now you may, for example, want to, want to label this edge, right? This could be a decision tree, and this could be taking a certain decision here. Let's make it even bigger. Uh, and you may want to say, okay, going this path uh, is going to, you know, means taking this decision. So in order to draw, you know, sort of label this edge, what we're going to do is you're going to go, okay, this edge is N1 to N2, okay? And then what you can do is you can write uh, node. We don't want to see the circle, right? So draw equals none. Okay, this is, okay, we don't want anything inside. Uh, and we want it to be uh, above this edge. Okay, so this is going to put it directly above the edge, uh, and then we want we want to put the text here. So let's see if that works. Okay, so let's say okay above is not good for this the angle of this edge, so we can put it above left, and it should give us something right over here. Perfect. Okay, so that's another feature, very uh, very important feature when you're making trees and, and things like this. Now, for example, let's say at the end here, we don't want it to say N2, so we get rid of, so we say draw equals none, and we get rid of the N2, but we want to say, okay, maybe after you make this decision, you get some reward, right, some profit or whatever. Okay, so once we get rid of uh, the, uh, the circle, we can start to write things like, let's say the profit is pi. Okay, now this is a math symbol, so even within tables and diagrams, right, the math symbols have to be within the math mode, which means you have to use the dollar signs. Okay, I didn't talk much in the other videos about math symbols because they're actually the easiest things to, to deal with. Okay, so here's some more features, uh, interesting features, and I think, you know, this, once you start to play around, you can, you know, you can do a lot just with what I've what I've given you so far.